There are a surprising number of historical anomalies, which scrutinizes the current, often outdated explanations as to the possible origins of human civilization. Anomalies which suddenly bring the age of countless, inexplicable ancient ruins found all over the globe into question. There exist inner circles of historical specialists who have quietly been battling it out over the authenticity of groundbreaking finds made over the ages, a smoldering cauldron of unavoidable controversies with frequent yet often failed attempts at discreditation. Ancient discoveries, argued over behind closed doors, often within prestigious institutions, each and all with vested interests on the retention of already established paradigms, illusionary or not, with the Glozel affair being of no exception. Possibly one of the most explosive discoveries which could be unleashed on the historical academic community. A controversial congregation of artifacts of vastly varying dates would be an understatement. Rows of ancient, technologically advanced uparts created by groups originating from all corners of the world, some dating back to the Neolithic, with an array of other periods present, all laid undisturbed for untold millennia, a seemingly modern-age historical impossibility. A number of independent investigators continue to entertain the idea that academically funded historians accidentally stumbled upon and subsequently partially exposed to the world a perfectly preserved pre-Atlantis antediluvian museum. One so controversial, if the battles over carbon dating be won, by those who support said theory, it would turn our chronological understandings of man upside down. Arguments over the authenticity of the discovery raged on for many decades until the outbreak of the World War in 1939. Multiple lawsuits were launched, five international battles were undertaken, all to either prove or disprove the site's authenticity. Yet it wasn't until 1974 when a Glenn Daniel, professor of archaeology at Cambridge University, took another, more significant look at the Glozell Affair's artifacts. Although with the clear intention of proving through carbon and other forensic testing that the true ages would ultimately reveal a fakery. Unfortunately, the complete opposite occurred. What was doubly bad for Daniel regarding these peer-reviewed results was that the finds, one luckily buried by the war, had now been plucked from the archives and back into the forefront in the academic field of discussion, yet now with no way of receiving dismissal. In 2019, another examination and scrutinization of the original tests was undertaken, and they held up. So, at a public symposium on archaeometry at Oxford University, details of further work undertaken by McCarroll of Edinburgh and Maydahl, Denmark, claim to show that the age of the ceramics alone is unquestionably great and authentic. This is a site which is undoubtedly incredibly important, and one we will definitely be exploring again in the near future. We find the Glozel Affair highly compelling.